Não. <risos> Alô, DG! Mais um hit que vai dominar o Brasil, hein? Brasil, hein? Of the Sand Dune of Ponta Negra. Now, this is my Airbnb in Natal, which costs $13. It's a nice place, everything functional. It's a nice bathroom, small kitchen, but everything is fully functional and good. And it's a family from Santa Catarina, so it's a Brazilian family with German roots. And yeah, you see right away everything is functional as it would be in Germany. Interesting. Nice garden. Yes. Yeah, so now I'm walking over to the beach. Actually I'm walking along the beach here. I'm living right behind one of the sand dunes. Natal is famous for the sand dunes and actually all the way up from here to São Luis. So now it's 12 o'clock and the sun already is basically on the way going slowly going down further further. That's the neighborhood, nobody outside really. And here you see the city. I'm right on the outer edge of Natal, I mean in Natal, but the beach Ponta Negra, which is a really famous beach where all these foreigners came many years ago. You see the sand dunes over there everywhere, all along the coast. Looks a bit like Madagascar. Wild Madagascar. That's something else that's going to be another video. I've been visiting Madagascar for four times of already and every time I stay between one to three months there so I know Madagascar really well but that's not a video for today that's something you will see in my channel as well. Unfortunately, Ponta Negra Beach itself isn't really that beautiful. I mean, yes, it looks good from above, but once you get down, there is no real sandy stretch. It's the water coming all the way up to the sand dunes. So that's basically the beach of Ponta Negra. As you see, it's not really too attractive in a way. The sand dune, I was looking for a stretch of dry sand, but absolutely nothing. And the water is coming up right now, so it will only be less and less available. Not too attractive in a way. And there are no foreigners here, these are only local tourists or actually local Natal people coming to the beach. Ponta Negra? About 10 years ago, I have never been here, but I remember, I know from my friends, they told me about Ponta Negra, I was really busy, lots of foreigners came here. It was a bit like Phuket in Thailand, Patong Beach, a bit like this idea 15 years ago. Even as late as 10 years ago, it was still a bit like that. Or around 2008, more or less, it stopped. 
I don't know why this beach ever became famous. I mean, the beach itself isn't really that nice. Anyway, next chapter. It is 60 reals per person, but the quality of the beef is really good and they're making all kinds of different flavors baked over with parmesan cheese or baked over with sea salt black pepper and really interesting so You can basically see here that's Ponta Negra beach area again and the walls are tall around the buildings around every house everyone builds a high wall and an electric fence so it's kind of crazy it isn't really that dangerous I mean receive which is actually dangerous I didn't see any walls around the buildings I don't know, but Natal in general is really an interesting city to to walk around. There's nothing really of interest to see, to be honest, except the beach and the sand dunes. So I will I will shorten my stay. I actually plan to stay two weeks, but I will probably only stay one week. Do you remember how it looked earlier today? And now, see how it looks now. The beach is gone. Everything is right up to the stones. I tried further down the beach. But yes, that's how it looks in the evening. So that's still the best part of town. Accidentally, I'm living in the best part of town in a nice Airbnb. I plan to live further down there in an high-rise apartment. And luckily, last minute, I, I, ch I chose this one here. Yes, it's a beautiful beach. Everybody always warning me don't walk dark alleys in the night time especially when it smells like piss here lots of people coming from the beach or going to the beach they're pissing here very dangerous indeed through all the dark alleys <coughs> two guys and one girl on different locations already warned me don't come down here now at this time in the night people grab your phone guys on a motorbike like this one coming at you and taking everything yeah right take it easy I live somewhere up there so I'm walking back it's a nice beach. Of the sand dune of Ponta Negra. That really looks very much like Madagascar. It's quite
quite nice and uh, next 1000 kilometer of coastline to the north is very much like that all the way to Sao Luis I don't want to venture too far around because it happened to me once in uh, in PP Island in Thailand it was in the in 90 I went a lot to PP Island and the surrounding islands in the early 90s 1993 to 1995 because it was such an unspoiled place back then but I also remember the tide is now on the move up and I didn't calculate how fast it was moving with all my camera and my clothing everything I had to swim back around it and that's what's going to happen here as well. I'm not venturing back at least in the next 20 minutes. Anyway, that's uh, Natal. I'm going to go over there as well. These are the sand dunes that are going further to the north. There's a, they are really large sand dunes, they're getting larger and larger as we get to Sao Luis. But also here they are a bit further north I will go next week. Next week I move to an Airbnb that is over the bridge. You can't see the bridge. The large bridge in Natal the famous large bridge that's right on the tip of the sand dunes over there over the sand dunes you see in the cloudy sky the bridge and once you move over there you are in a working neighborhood of natal so lots of people who came from the inland cities towns to work tourism or whatever industry fishing industry salt extraction industry speak here and they live over there and when we talk about salt extraction that reminds me also very much on Madagascar because on the south coast or on the west southwest coast or even the entire west coastline they are working in the salt extraction it's very interesting yeah not much to see at the moment so that's it yeah it's getting already too late there's a nice small beach over there but the waves already getting bigger it's a sign of the tide coming in I remember the tide moving really fast, so I don't want to make it around there. I went around the sand dune. So over there is the beach, Ponta Negra beach. Tomorrow I will actually make it down to Central. There is actually a little historical Central in Natal and I just want to see it. It's very rundown like it is always in Latin American cities. There's, there's one or two streets of beautiful old colonial buildings and the rest is absolutely rundown and shabby. But yeah, welcome to Latin American cities. Okay, that's it from here. But anyway, a nice cold beer, like you get it served in different places in Asia, with a styropor cooler. It's only 50 real cents more than in a supermarket. 
50 real cents. Oh hell, what is that? That's 10 US cents <laughs> more. So here it costs eight, the beer cost 80 cents at the beach at the prime spot. So once again we're talking about expensive Brazil. Everybody always say Brazil is so expensive. It's not. It's definitely not. It's not just here in Natal. It's everywhere I went so far. Food or drinks. It's cheap. Everything is cheap. Brazil is not expensive. But I believe most people only consider Brazil to be Rio de Janeiro and that's why everybody says it's expensive because yes on Copacabana Ipanema Beach the same beer costs triple the price. Yeah of course it's expensive. Anyway enjoy. Enjoy life. That's what I'm doing right now. Sitting on the beach until the tide coming up all the way. It probably takes another three hours, two hours, 